something is happening that hasn't happened for four years. And it's a macro event. It's what happened on the 17th, on the last full moon, just a few days ago, where the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, announced a 50 basis points reduction in the interest rates. What does that mean? In layman's terms, that means money is be going, going to become cheaper. The value of the US dollar will decline. What happens when the value of the US dollar declines? If you guys have been studying any charts in crypto, you know that the US dollar currency index, which is a relative measure of the strength of the US dollar vis-a-vis -vis a basket of foreign crypto or foreign uh, reserve currencies, world reserve currencies, when that goes down, Bitcoin and other risk on assets automatically go up. They're pegged, they're linked, they're inversely correlated, okay? Almost one-to-one. -one. So when money becomes cheaper, that means money is devalued. The interest rate reduction is essentially making money cheaper or devaluing the dollar ever so slightly which should for the first time in four years increase the price of bitcoin automatically hello everyone my name's dean let's talk crypto this is where you subscribe for sometimes daily sometimes weekly sometimes monthly crypto bitcoin updates and technical analysis we track the price of bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large today is september 21st 2024 and i haven't made a video in a while for various reasons but i'm excited to make a video today because the market's saying, hey, pay attention to me. Hey, look at this. Hey, watch this. This is exciting. And I'm going to tell you what I'm excited about. I'm going to tell you why I'm excited. I'm going to tell you why on the very high time frame, there's something that we are going to see or that we have seen that hasn't happened in four years. And on the really small time frames, why everything's also looking good and why altcoins may finally be starting altcoin season. If that all interests you, then watch until the very end. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's get into it. All right. I'm going to try to make this quick because it's, you know, I don't want to make it too long. So let's start with Bitcoin as usual. Okay. I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And we've been in this very boring, very tedious flag okay this is the flag pull this is the flag it is a bull flag it is a bullish structure it does typically lead to a breakout to the upside the thing is all of this price action up and down and up and down and up and down very tough to track very tedious and by nature it's corrective corrective price action is by nature unpredictable and sideways so ever since march that's you know what are we september now almost october that's six months of sideways price action actually you know what's even more bullish about this it's the fact that we went sideways and down okay that's some of the most bullish types of flags that you see when the price action is going sideways and down you're actually creating even more buying pressure because you're going down, you're correcting sideways and downwards, okay? Uh, that's basic technical analysis. Right now on the smaller time frames, we are at a heavy resistance. What is that heavy resistance? It is the midline of this multi-year channel, okay? The midlines, remember, midlines of a channel are just as important as the tops and the bottoms okay if you don't know what this channel is let's zoom out really quickly for you all to see okay it is this multi-year channel that bitcoin's been in ever since 
2022 actually the the beginning or the end sorry of 2022 we're now in 2024 that is the channel as you can see on this this chart and the midline of that channel is where we're currently at you can see this very nicely on the weekly time frame we're hitting our heads on this midline Midlines are resistance when you're below it, support when you're above it. We are currently below that midline. I'm excited, number one, first and foremost, because given that we're under this midline and we're fighting, and um, we're going to show you on the small time frames what that fight looks like, a break of this midline means a proper breakout. The next target I have on my chart that makes any kind of sense is 80k why 80k let's go to the smaller time frames and i can explain why 80k is a nice target a very nice target for bitcoin to the upside from this midline breakout okay it's not just the breakout of the midline but also the breakout of this entire structure this six month structure where we've been accumulating buying positions for bitcoin okay so let's go on the four hourly time frame that's one of my favorite intraday time frames and this one is what the fight looks like okay the fight at this midline has taken the form of a type of triangle it is a weird type of triangle but it is a triangle it looks like a triangle to me okay on the smaller time frames i think you can see it even more clearly you can see here, Bitcoin hit that midline, came, and is basically consolidating right under the midline. What can happen is you get a move like this to flesh out this pattern, and then it's a run-of-the-mill flat correction. Or in very bullish cases, you keep that triangular structure and you just break out, retest, and boom, you're off to the races. I don't know what can happen. All I know for a likely fact is that this is a consolidation at resistance, which will ultimately yield a move up and out, okay? That is exciting. Now, again, why 80K? I haven't forgotten. 80K is a very nice target for bitcoin out of this structure because it enables bitcoin to go up and out and come back and retest that midline which has to be retested just like the support of a, an important structure which is resistance has to be flipped into support right a midline that was resistance it's a resistance just like any other right has to be broken then retested as support so that midline has to be retested as support and the way to do that is to go up and if you measure what is the likely beginning of this impulse to the upside that bitcoin is currently in in my estimation it seems likely that that move starts here that move likely starts here, okay? So when I measure with my Fibonacci retracement tool, I believe that's the point. I, I found that on the daily, but let's just see. I'm going to try it out. Okay, one second. I'm going to clean up my screen. I Yes, okay, here we go. All right, so I'm on my Fibonacci retracement tool from this reported bottom to the top. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I think it's here or here. Okay, it's either here or here. In either case, I like the fact that a move up to 80K and back is basically a 618 or five 500 to 618 retrace meaning you're coming back to the golden pocket golden retracement uh and, and any impulse 
can maximally retrace, meaning it can only retrace to a maximum of the 0, 0.618 phi ratio. Can't relate, it can't retrace beyond that. And so that's a lot of what I see if I'm using this as my um, bottom, right? For this impulse, it's gonna go something like this. Okay, so it's gonna both retrace the midline and this dotted line. So this is another thing I really like about ADK is if you look, the resistance formed by this flag that I talked about just a few minutes ago is can be traced with this dotted line. A breakout and a retest of this dotted line is crucial and necessary, okay? So we both have to retest this midline, right? And let, let's just assume for argument's sake that there are some inaccuracies in my charting, right? It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Sometimes chartists, analysts forget that their charts aren't absolutely perfect, but it's it can be approximative. So the idea is that the ideal move, the highest probability move in my estimation, is something that goes up and back, retesting both the midline and, that was terrible, that's better, the top of this flag, this six-month flag. And also, the last thing, the last reason I really like this is because the nexus of these both happens mid-October, which would signify, I believe, the next full moon. Because the previous full moon that we just had was on the 17th and the uh, uh, of September. October 15th is approximately a month from that, which would be approximately the next full moon. I really like this read. I really like ADK coming back down, retesting the top of this six-month flag the midline of this two-year channel and then continuing up this is why 80k for me 80k bitcoin is a very likely target again we're doing technical analysis it's all about probabilities i really like this probability strongly so i'm looking at a 26 percent move in bitcoin which is nothing to write home about it's just 26 percent um, but for the flagship crypto, for something that's such a large market cap, that is significant, right? Because we don't get those every day. However, I'm even that much more excited about what altcoins are doing. And this is what I want to talk about for the rest of the video, okay? Actually, before I go into altcoins, before I go into altcoins, let me say one thing. And I said this in the beginning of the video. Something is happening that hasn't happened for four years, and it's a macro event. It's what happened on the 17th, on the last full moon, just a few days ago, where the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, announced a 50 basis points reduction in the interest rates. What does that mean? In layman's terms, that means money is be going, going to become cheaper. The value of the U.S. dollar will decline. What happens when the value of the U.S. dollar declines? If you guys have been studying any charts in crypto, you know that the U.S. dollar currency index, which is a relative measure of the strength of the U.S. dollar vis-a-vis -a, -vis a basket of foreign crypto or foreign uh, reserve currencies, world reserve currencies, when that goes down, Bitcoin and other risk-on assets automatically go up. They're pegged, they're linked, they're inversely correlated, okay? Almost one-to-one. -one. So when money becomes cheaper, that means money is devalued. The interest rate reduction is essentially making money cheaper or devaluing the dollar ever so slightly, which should, for the first time in four years, increase the price of Bitcoin automatically. That's the the first time in four years that that's happened. It's the first time in four years. And if you look at this chart of the US dollar currency index, you can see it on this chart. The last time we went down, right? The value of the dollar was decreasing was in December of 2020. Ever since then, 
it's gone up down a little bit but it's basically been up a, a great deal what's happening here on this chart is this you can clearly see this it's a head and shoulders pattern a bearish reversal pattern that's your head that's your right shoulder and that's your left shoulder you are at the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern a breakdown of this head and shoulders pattern is a declension of the u.s dollar currency index that leads automatically to an increase in the price of bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market We've had this chart drawn out for years and this move drawn out for years. If you've been watching my channel, you know, I'm not lying about that. I've been talking about this for years. This is going to happen and it's likely given this pattern, given what just happened, you know, um, at the fed that this is happening now that makes me excited all right now altcoins i'm even more excited about altcoins let me show you something all right see bitcoins in its own flag but now on the total market cap minus bitcoin so this is the total two so it's the whole crypto market cap minus bitcoin called total two you can see something similar a flagpole and a massive flag that's down and to the right the most bullish version of a bull flag with the flag down and to the right so we have in crypto in all coins been going down and sideways for six months just like bitcoin but even more down right you can see that on this chart very clearly what you also see on the smaller time frame is a move from the bottom of this flag to the top. So this is likely going to continue, break up, retest the top of the flag, and then keep it moving. This is what I see altcoins doing. Specifically, if you were to measure the move in altcoins right and this is including ethereum mind you so like you know the lower cap altcoins are probably going to do a lot more but i like the calculus or the calculation that this impulse starts here so if i'm going to demarcate the top of this flag with a resistance it's gonna be something like this okay and if i'm going to guesstimate what a move can look like in altcoins it's more likely than not going to be something like that so i'm looking at altcoins going from 919 billion up about 22% in aggregate but again this is only a an aggregate estimate of all the altcoins including the largest market caps i'm expecting much bigger moves in altcoins as a result of this explosion out of this 6 month flag okay yes this is showing kind of the same move as bitcoin but i think altcoins go much much higher and obviously I, I don't want to talk too long on this video but the best thing to do would be to look at them on a case-by-case -case basis and you may get some triple digit movers easy okay um is that all i want to talk about i talked about the dxy ooh, 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 ooh. last thing i want to talk about also related to altcoins all right is this and this is exciting to me this bitcoin dominance chart okay bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance as you can see bitcoin dominance is a measure of 
if altcoins are gaining against Bitcoin or if Bitcoin is gaining against altcoins. When it's going up, Bitcoin is gaining against altcoins. When it comes down, altcoins are gaining against Bitcoins. When it comes down, that means alt season. If you zoom out just a moment, you can see that for a very long time, right, since the end of 2022, Bitcoin has been gaining against altcoins in the aggregate, right, like this, all right, this is a very important resistance, and now it looks as if we're finally at this resistance and rejecting off of it and coming down, that is altcoin season, on the smaller time frames, zooming into the four hourly chart, you can see that this move is coming down and it doesn't look like there's much support here so i am expecting this to continue and if this does indeed continue do you expect altcoins to make noise do you expect altcoins to start their impressive runs up and out of their corrective consolidative patterns this is what i've got for you Hope this was helpful. Hope this was useful. Like, share, and subscribe. If you got value, consider buying me a coffee at the pinned comment below. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.